Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines on the Suntai Island map, which we're building the city of Suntai Island on. Yeah. In the last episode, we have this lovely university, which is currently a bit hot. Um, and in this episode, I want to continue the expansions. I want some to kind of vary up the industry a bit. Let's say we're going to get some more specialised industry in. We're going to just generally expand out in different directions. But first... Um, I feel like we should probably get like the fire helicopter depot because stuff just keeps burning down um, in places that aren't connected to roads like these dormitories here so might be an idea what's this doing this should if it gets the academic works this should um, level up so the plan today is to expand into this area here Kind of if we look at this kind of south of the university and whatever and also around this big valley here and also possibly a bit here I want to focus on A. Shipping and B. Specialised industry So First of all We are going to get this lovely four lane road here with the trees either side We are going to kind of curve it down into this area here. It's going to come down to about. Actually, let's cut it back and we're going to put a roundabout on the end of it. Like that. We are going to make the roundabout have some trees on it. Because, yeah. And then, in this area here, it's going to have a bit of tourism kind of stuff and also um, a big harbour. We just built a road around here. So that's 45. Let's go to a 34 cutting. And lead me to, yeah, find the 17 mark. Uh, yeah. Terrain height could get interesting because I've got the roads to kind of do a smooth slope so if we just, just build some roads around here we're going to kind of eventually fill in all the space in the middle for now while I'm remembering let's get a big passenger harbour in which I think that should go right here we're going to unlock the road so that we can give it some trees. What we're going to do is we're going to get a road to come out of here and then bend into here. That'll do. And then that is our harbour and we'll also get a nice path. This one probably actually looks nicest to come down and connect the two of them up, the roads up as well. So this, what I might do as well is some slightly kind of larger spacings between like all the different roads and whatever around here. So what I'm actually going to do is just leave a bit of a larger space in there and there. Go up this way because, like I said, it would be a nice tourism area. And there are a lot of like the unique buildings that don't fit into a standard um, width grid, which is quite a hold and hill around it. So what we're probably going to do is let's just kind of do a road like that. Another one that goes like that. There we go. And we will expand this area in due course. And then want to do is just as a flat junction from there I'm going to lower it a bit gradually it's just going to be a simple three way junction, I'm going to get a road along the coast it's going to come into this area, let's just leave it like that for now so let's just get another grid section then 
work out this area later, but I think, yeah, for now, tram line and drain line are going to come through, we're just going to send them in a straight line, I think. Um, like, or whatever. So the tram line is going to run, say, out of there to there, and then... That is, like if we just did a create a loop mode, that's usually the easiest for this, do maximum, so that, yeah, there we go, like that. And then the tram line will come into here. Is there a road with tree, tram and trees? No, there isn't actually, okay. We'll give them the luxury of being able to park along the road that the tram goes down. Um, if we just do this, then what I'm thinking is a little one way road and then one with tram on only one side. I think those do exist. Um, oh, not like that. Like that. No, like that. There we go. That works. And then on the end here as well, we're going to put in a nice train station that actually fits in. Yes, and that is for the harbour. And the train line is going to kind of bend around as well. And there probably will be an intermediate station between these two. Like I said, we're not developing that yet. Uh, let's just do like a 13 by... No, 11 by 11. It's quite high at the moment, which is fine. Um, yeah. I think what I might just do is lower this whole road a bit. That's that's up. Let's just lower this junction a bit, actually. Like that, and then we'll do a nice slope from there to there, say. Uh, let's do a slope from there to there to there to there. Yeah. And then from there to there. And then maybe, yeah, that's already going to be sloped, isn't it? That means the train line can nicely get above. And then can run like this. And then, when's it going to come in like a straight line? Something like there, I think. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's exactly a 180 degree angle. There we go. And so then that's the train line that will come through to here. So, what we're going to do, we're going to create a zone. Yeah, chestnut district. Let's just do something like that. So, commercial, we want tourism. Residential, I quite like the self-sufficient buildings just a style and offices well we might not even have any offices let's not bother about specialization of those anyway and let's just let's first of all actually do is come up by 10 there we go and then just do something like that and then that's gonna bend into that road there Yep, that's all in there. So we're going to put a couple of unique buildings in. Not the stock market, not any of this. Uh, for like a cathedral. Let's have a look at what's kind of in this bit. Um, like, yeah, maybe the Eiffel Tower would work there. And then luxury hotel 
work is going to go. There. Fantastic fountain. Be quite cool to have like there. I'm just going to kind of do a range of the sort of concert stuff. A range of um, unit buildings. We'll do the arch there. I think we've already got one of those in, but I appear to be using a mod that allows me to place multiple of the same things in. Posh mold. Go there. Um. Colossal order offices would be quite cool there. And then, yeah. Just kind of bulk up the tourism around here. Opera house. It's quite sunk in, but whatever. And then, yeah. I think that will do for that. The aquarium. Okay, yeah, that's got to go in this area, I think. Observation tower. Here. Then yeah. This looks like a cool building as well. And then we're gonna surround this by probably more residential out towards this side. Definitely a lot of commercial in the middle bit. And then yeah. And then possibly more residential again. Shops here. And round here. There we go. Let's just kind of do fill in some more of the gaps as well. In terms of public, well, t first of all, let's sort out the water pipes. And then, yes, they're going to run down this road here. Let's just send them into the roundabout. But out either side. Okay, so we're going to want one that also comes down to the ferry terminal. Um, so one going up here. One going down here, one can run along here. There we go. Then one here. You can go out to here. Can run along this road here. One that kind of runs around this road, and I think whole area covered with water pipes now and then train lines the two that terminate here for now just going to run non-stop down to the harbour eventually we'll probably put a station in the middle that one of the routes stops at but for now they're both going straight down to the harbour there we go and then they'll stop at the university as well Purple line. Can I select a purple line, please? Yes, purple line. There we go. Should work. And the trams. At the moment they're turning around there. Gonna move that stop to there and one on the other side, and then it's gonna run non stop to here. And then we'll have a stop here, and then stop here for the, where the train station is and the harbour. So that will all build in. Not great services around here. Let's just put in a few kind of basics. Um. Yeah, and I think the rest will be fine. That needs power. That's it. Should connect via the roads. Because the roads can carry power. We do have enough of it. Maybe I will... 
maybe that's be better as commercial, but just sewn some stuff in along here. Hopefully build up. And we probably need some more power anyway. So is there another bit of water where we could put a load of these? Yeah, there's more space here. This is probably just the best place to put a load of these. There we go. Traffic, no, it's just buses and trams and whatever. Okay. So now we are gonna go up to this area. This area has good oil and ore. So what we are gonna do is get the industrial. Actually we're gonna get a big six lane industrial road. Which is gonna snake down this area here, kind of dividing up the oil and ore. Like that. And then we'll have a mixture of kind of A normal industry, B specialised industry, and C actual proper kind of industries DLC stuff. And this road is going to run underneath here. Uh, it's probably not going to go much further, right? And we need to work out how to connect to this. So, first of all, the height is quite high. What we're going to do is we are going to raise up the train line. Actually, let's just raise up this end and this end so that they're well above road level. Like that. Then we'll slope everything. So from there to there. From there to Then from there to there. It's very steep actually. Uh, from there to there. Still pretty steep. So, what we're then going to do is get slip roads off here. And we are going to. We're basically just going to do that. It's very steep. Might go back a little further, actually. We'll slope that properly later, and then essentially we'll go. Let's just get up off the ground properly. There we go. There we go. Said we'll slope that properly later. And this one is going to run down to there. And this one's going to run back on. Now we're going to elevate it straight away. It's going to run back on like there. And then we'll properly, like I said, nicely sloped. Nicely sloped. Nicely sloped. That is. I don't even know what's happening there. And then that is also nicely sloped. They're all very steep. Let's just get node control out. Just so that we can just actually make this a proper um, whatever. And let's just remove this node. And then slope this. Again, it's still the same slope, I suppose. Um, if I just raise that up a bit and then slope from there to there, and then you're also just gonna grade two lanes. There we go, and then no straight on. No straight on, and then we'll grade the middle bit to two lanes with a nice um, pass on the edge because I think it looks neater. There we go, and then in terms of intersection 
marking tool, if we, for example, grabbed this, we copied that, we then went and pasted it here. There we go. Then went and pasted it here. Then went and pasted it here. There we go. And we then went and pasted it here. That looks good. Then we're going to get some four lane roads in. Now for this one here, that's going to be the centre of, I think that's oil. We have this one here, it's going to be the centre of the ore. There we go. And then, we're going to have just more roads going everywhere. Just to cover all the areas. I'm not going to do them that straight. Just leave some gaps in the middle. We're not going to have anything elevated though. We're going to leave some gaps in the middle for kind of larger industrial buildings. And just because if we fully pack this area, traffic would just be a nightmare. That can go around to there. That can cul de sac. That can turn into there. That can run straight down. We have another one that goes off here and then runs into there more roads, there we go, and then, it's basically that, maybe we'll have one more that goes off like that, so that's the oil, mostly, what I'm also going to do is just build a road there, we'll come more into that in a little bit, so we're just going to do some roads for the ore, those. There we go. There we go. That will do. And then maybe we'll actually just expand the area into this, into here. And this is where we'll place like processing buildings and whatever. Oops. And then, yeah, road there, road there. And that's just smooth and out the land because, oh my gosh, that's got very bumpy. There we go. So down here, we're going to place in a cargo hub. We're going to unlock the road. We're going to upgrade it. Left-handed traffic, so it's going that way. Then, well, we are going to run down like this. This is a five away. Okay, let's go six away. There we go. And then do a loop at the end. Three by three, three by three. There we go. And here, this should just go straight on. And then we will also place a cargo train terminal here. And let's just get one in over here. Okay, so we also want a connection to the train line. We'll probably put, yeah, for now this area will just be empty. We probably also want a passenger station somewhere. Um, don't really want it that grand. Um, it's maybe not one of those. Let's have a look. It's in my collection of all the stations I have. What's this? That looks fairly reasonable. 
which can go standard tracks. There we go. So this is where the train, main train line is going to run. So I can go very much up. And then, well, we're going to have one line that goes up to here. It's not high enough at all. Just take the, node, the relevant nodes and raise them up and then work out what we've still got to do. So it's a sloping, so slope down to about there. There we go. And then what we can do is if we just take this, we send it up and around this to then go in like that. That should also mean there's good spacing between all the junctions. Yeah, we might raise that node up there, that node there, up a little more. And possibly that one a little bit as well. There we go. And then these are all going to connect in. This is going to go into a tunnel first of all. So then going to come back out of the tunnel. And then it's going to... There we go, that runs nicely. So we might want to get rid of that node there. Just to make it look neat. Then from here, we go up to a plus 13 roughly. And then go into here. And I think I'm going to avoid Actually, on this one. I'll allow him to do a turn the other way to go to Cargo Harbour. So I'm going to do a train line here. I'm going to run down to the bottom. Then going to wrap around here and come into. Cargo hub. So, this is how it's all going to work. So, this side of the main road is going to be a normal zone where we're going to place oil industry specialisation. This side, there's going to be a normal zone where we place ore specialisation. We are then do it here, can't we? We can place down two industrial areas. The one this side the main road, which deals with coal. No, not coal ore. Well, maybe some coal in it as well. But yeah, mining. Let's just call it mining. And this side of the main road deals with um, oil drilling. That's what we're going to do. We're going to slowly build these up. We have not got unlock all on for these, so we are going to have, like I said, slowly build these up. So let's just get some drilling there, some storage in here, and then some processing for now, like that. And let's just spread it out on different roads. That's how much we're going to do with that. Then oil there. Want some drills. Let's have some drills down this road here. And maybe down this road here. And then we are going to process it. Um, around here. And maybe on this road as well. And we're going to store it storage there, some storage there. And then we'll also have in these little bits of industry zoning, which will specialise. Just do this for now there, and here we're going to do some here. And maybe some 
and what we probably want is a bus route. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bus route that starts um, start actually at the ferry terminal. We're gonna go through this area here and then it's gonna run straight along the main road. Run, go up this way turn there, so I'm going to stop, it's kind of near the train station, and then a bit of a loop around the area, it's not necessarily stuff near all these bus stops at the moment, but there will be, a lot more buildings going in, we'll just stop there, that's kind of near the train station, and then head back to here, and that means they're connected to not one, but two train stations. And what I might do is just get a sneaky little path from he this road here to connect up to the train station. And I might, this is now not going to build up much of this step. Yeah, this will probably be a lot of industry around here. But what I do want to do is just do a straight road there. Let's have the helicopter depots in one place. Um, where is it? Should be a medical helicopter depot. There we go. Let's do a higher capacity. What? Well, actually, no. Medical, we'll just do a standard one. Fire, we're going to do the. I think this is the higher capacity one. And then. Oops, that's not very neat. And then we'll just do a smaller police one. There we go. And then those should provide better coverage. Hopefully this might be put out, this fire might be put out before it burns. And I forgot we don't have water in this area. So let's bring a water pipe along here. Let's just connect up there as well. And let's just this road. And let's just follow the main road all the way. And let's just go to there for now. So we'll come in this road here to cover those. We'll probably have to follow most roads around the industrial parts because the roads aren't so close together to cover two of them. Down to the harbour. There we go. Let's just do some up here. services maybe by the station. Should do fire and police, there we go. Hopefully that all works. So we have got a passenger station here. For now. Ooh. Yes, our university's leveled up. 
Well, that's the main Suntai Island one. Which has got a load more stuff, possibly. And this is... Uh, this has not up. Uh, hang on, no. This is the... This is the... New one, isn't it? And then this is the... Old one. There we go. So, okay. So, let's just build the train line in. Which is just going to shuttle from there to there and back. I've noticed I have, well, I have a got the water lines to the like, existing lines to auto colour so they're easy to see. And B, there are some new train lines now. And that has meant all the intercity routes are now in the government's control. City government. Let's go and see what we can do here. So first of all, we've given another grant. This is burnt down. We can just reset it with the move it mod. And then let's have a look at what we've unlocked. So we are... I think this is... This is, yeah, this. It's the academic statue one. The big place where they do the graduation. Math club. I think we might already have the library or not, actually. Let's put the library here. And we have school of law. Okay, let's expand the area. Actually, let's just put another path in here. And then, I'm just gonna go straight across the tram line like that. So we have two of these now. That's gonna go, this is, can go here. And this I would love to put here, but the slope is too steep. Uh, Scale down the brush size a bit. Just um, give ourselves more land and look, that fits now. Um, give that some, those two some water. And yeah. What are we looking like now? We've got plenty of attractiveness, plenty of students to get to the next level. Capacity is quite a bit higher as well now. So that is good. Oh my gosh, train line spaghetti around here for an area that's not really filled up much yet. So far, we've produced a few resources, so that's good. Same with this one, because we're importing here. I suppose we've got. No, we aren't. Oh, now we are importing here. Eventually, there'll be no need to import any. That's a shuttle train. Already got people on board. So, that's good. Not going to allow in city trains, by the way. And then, that's a, no, that's a police vehicle, but we've got people walking out the station. We could just walk out of outside, but I think they're heading for the bus stop. That one has got a trooper somewhere on. So the buses stop yeah, on the other side of the road. Yeah, uh, that one, they're waiting for the bus. They're waiting for the bus, yeah. Do we have any boats coming in? No. Not yet. Do, you have, do we have any boats coming into here? Yes. Yes, we do, actually. Okay, so we have ships. We have uh, industry. We've got a lot of... Com <laughs> wow. This is actually looking pretty... Cool. This whole area. Some absolutely massive buildings as well. Yeah, hopefully we get a bit more in on this side. We have got some residential and this whole area, I must say, it's looking great. And we've got the nice city arch. Got our nice tourism stuff. Got a train coming in here. Well, that's busy.
Uh, yeah, it's going to unload a load of people. There we go. Might put in a path over here, pretend it's stairs. Uh, yeah. Pretend it's stairs. Let's just clear that. Let's just get a little bit of smoothing in here. There we go. Still pretend it's stairs. Yeah, a lot of people getting off here. Moving into buildings. Tourists as well. We've got a massive queue of buses here. And. Uh, no, no. Um, ships on their way in yet. But yeah, our population is rising, slowly filling more area and we're getting into a bit more of the specialised industry which we haven't really touched yet. Ooh, happy face all around. We just want a match. Yes. And this university is expanding so we're getting more capacity for further education. What's that doing to our education rates? 44% highly educated. Actually still 30% uneducated though. I suppose given we put in some houses here we might um, put in, well, let's just put in a s school there, put in a high school as well. Actually, let's go for the Institute of Creative Arts, I think that looks cool. There we go. And actually, let's just get a bit of residential zoning there and there. Yeah, noise pollution isn't great if you live in this area. Oof, yeah. Um, we've got a little healthcare thing. Maybe we'll get a death care a bit out of the way as well. Let's get a death care here. Let's just smoothen the land here. Maybe slightly higher brush size. There we go. And here. Try. Quite a lot of vehicles going down this road, I suppose. Also, the train there, it's got a lot. It's got a lot of people on board. I suppose also there might be some people taking a right turn here. But uh, yeah, for me, it's actually still fast just to head up to the highway from most places. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Um, yeah, I didn't expect a cause of ambulance. A traffic jam of ambulances, yeah. That's not going to help the noise pollution either. Um, any boats coming in yet? I'd have thought a harbour would, like, if we were actually talking realistically, a harbour wouldn't have noise pollution unless it had boats. Or was the ambulance a bit too late, like, so they got a hearse. Ambulances around. Is that a medical helicopter that I hear? Somewhere. Ooh, yep. There we go. And we have medical helicopters in our city now. Uh, yeah, 3 out of 3, 2 out of 10, 3 out of 3. It's actually the fire one that's the least used. Hopefully that's all helping. How are our places doing here? It's not too far off levelling up. Do we just need to produce a bit more? Same with this one. But we will get there in due course. Thank you all for watching this episode. And we'll see you in the next one for more expansions and possibly some farming industry. And possibly forestry as well. Goodbye.